Burkina Faso's military rulers on Monday ordered that the distribution of the Journal Freak magazine, which publishes online and in print, be suspended, accusing it of seeking to discredit the military. June Afrique's suspension marks the latest escalation in a crackdown on French media since the West African country fell under military rule last year. Founded in 1960 and based in France, June Afrique is a website and monthly magazine with several correspondents and contributors in Africa and elsewhere. The military government accused the media outlet of seeking to discredit the military. The government blamed a new and misleading article entitled Tensions Persist in Burkina Faso Army and published on Monday. This publication follows an earlier article by the same newspaper on the same website, published on Thursday, in which Joan Afrique alleged that discontent is growing in Burkina Faso barracks. Burkina Faso's Minister of Communication said, These deliberate assertions, made without the slightest hint of proof, have no other purpose than to discredit the national armed forces and, by extension, all fighting forces in an unacceptable manner. Since taking power in a coup in 2022, the Chunta has suspended multiple TV and radio stations and expelled foreign correspondents, especially from French media. In June, Burkina Faso authorities announced the suspension of the French television channel LCI, for three months after expelling the correspondents of Liberation and La Monde in April. The Chunta has already suspended French-funded broadcasters Radio France Internationale and France 24 for allegedly giving voice to Islamist militants, staging an insurgency across the Sahel region south of the Sahara. Both publications denied the accusations. We can remember how the Rwandan genocide of 1994 was enabled by the French government which was aware of the genocide and provided weapons to the Hutu army. They also used radio stations to broadcast hate propaganda to the masses. The UN and other Western countries sat quietly and watched it happen without any intervention. Since 2015, Burkina Faso has faced recurring violence, which has left more than 17,000 people dead and more than 2 million internally displaced. The two coups of 2022 were each triggered in part by discontent at failures to stem a raging insurgency. Regional instability has also fueled recent military takeovers in neighboring Mali and Niger. The succession of coups in the Sahel region has alarmed Western governments as well as Ikawas. Anti-Paris sentiment has been inflamed in the three countries, all former French colonies, with military rulers strengthening ties with Russia. Earlier this month, the Chuntas of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger signed a mutual defense pact to establish an architecture of collective defense and mutual assistance for the benefit of our populations. France withdrew its troops and ambassador from Burkina Faso earlier this year in the face of post-coup hostility. France has also announced that it will withdraw its troops and ambassador from Niger after two months of resistance from the French president. Mali even removed the French language as its official language. Junta Chief Traoré has said that Burkina is not the enemy of the French people, but of the policies of its government. Africans need to be on the lookout and careful for propaganda that could jeopardize the struggle in countries on the continent. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, share it with friends and family, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our exciting videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.